Hey guys, it's Laura. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a project share. Um, I have made a new crafty friend, Tina's Craft Creations, and she had actually asked me if I wanted to do a fall swap. And so the funny thing is, is um, we haven't decided on a date. This just kind of came up a couple weeks ago, and I immediately started working on it, and I've actually finished, and it's like October like 3rd. So probably like still have it sitting over here for a month. Just I don't want to send it to her until she's ready to send hers to me. She's still working on Halloween stuff, very understandably. So I'm just gonna show you guys what all I made. We agreed to an embellishment book with eight sets of embellishments and um, either a pocket letter or a memory dex card. I love Tina's videos and her Instagram. She's so sweet and friendly and um, I just, I had a lot of fun putting this together and I did some extras just because I was enjoying it so much. Fall is definitely my favorite holiday or my favorite season, rather. Yeah, I was just ready to celebrate it. So, I'm gonna show you what all I sent her. I'm just gonna start by pulling from the box. Let me show you the box real quick. Oops, so I don't know how well you can see this. But the only thing I have left to add to this is a little bag of candy, and then I have this fun shred right here that I'm gonna top it off with and probably some little like leaf confetti pieces. But here's just an overview of what I'm gonna send her. I'll move this back off to the side. And again, everything is packaged up so there is gonna be a glare. There's gonna be some crinkling from the bag. And I apologize for that. Do you guys see what I did to my finger today? Oh my God, I was grating up some cheese. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna grab what's on top. So this is a pokey tool. I made this fun little box with this little acetate topper. Um, this awesome ribbon I got from Hobby Lobby, just a little cluster down here on the bottom. And again, this was not part of the swap at all, but just, I love fall, so. <laughs> oh, I just hit my finger again. So I just have some crinkle in here and, um, here is my pokey tool. So with everything else in this project, I did gold. I prefer gold, but because the pokey tool is silver, um, I wanted to keep with that. So I just have some beads here and the reds, browns, yellows, oranges, a couple different charms. So yeah, a little sunflower because if I can add a sunflower to anything, I certainly will. And then these are just some beads. So I think I've only made like two or three pokey tools, so I'm pretty new at it. Um, but I do like how this turned out. So this will be packaged back up in here with this topper and this ribbon. Next, we have her card. And um, I kind of messed up on this. I You will see when I show you the card, I actually wrote it on a little note, my little note to her, so she could reuse the card. But then the envelope, which is kind of personalized, in size just for the card. Um, I actually had my Cricut right on there. So I might um, make another envelope just to send. So if she wants to re-gift the card. Um, a lot of the embellishments and or stickers and stuff that I used came from this Celebrate Autumn collection. And it's had these little animals left. So I wanted to make a little cluster. Some has popped up. Super cute. Back here. And this is my little card. So we just have a little shaker pumpkin card. Um, got this idea from Carolyn's, Carolina's Crafts, I believe. Um, I made it a little different from hers, but it's, it's definitely her idea. So we just have some leaves here. These are just the wires from some of these leaves I cut off and then just kind of formed to look like vines. Um, this is the sequin mix that I used throughout my projects. I still have some here and then open it up and again I just wrote my little note on this for her so she can reuse this card so again I do think I'm going to send an extra envelope just so she can reuse it and have the correct envelope but so next there's just some more extras I was having so much fun sewing <laughs> and so I sewed a lot of my projects but just real quick here's just a little sign that I had gotten and it fits perfectly in this box. So I'm gonna gift that to her. But again, back to the sewing. So I had worked on some of these pouches and this fabric came from Joann's and this little book that I made. So I will take these out. I will mention too, I was also going to gift her a little chapstick and make a little chapstick holder, but these are just 
not working out for me. So um, I'm going to scrap that idea, but never give up. Like from one to the next, I got better, but it's definitely not where it needs to be. However, my patches and my little book turned out great. So this is just a little cellophane bag, a little topper that I did layered up some of those stickers. This is just like a clear sticker. And then in here I used um, for the base of this was just a piece of a cardboard box and I just stitched on some there. Um, it does have some of that foam, a little foam layer. So it's super kind of squishy, um, just stitched around it open it up we do have a little pocket here I have some cut aparts for her and then this is just one of these um, composition notebooks you can get three for a dollar at the Dollar Tree and I just covered it and um, made a little kind of traveler's notebook so whenever this gets filled up she can take it out I did make a second one for her just some plain paper and these will be packaged again in here together and then this Again, just some more of those stickers. One of the patches. Um, I originally had put one of my bead charms on there, but I like the sunflower better. So yeah, I actually made this. I followed a tutorial from the Crafty Gemini. I will have a video before this kind of going more in detail of some of the things I made for this project. Um, because these are all packaged up. It won't be as easy for me to show you. Anyways, in here, I just have some shred. And then I actually had made her a little keychain. So I needed to make one for a neighbor friend of mine, Sarah. Her birthday is coming up. And then at the same time, as Tina and I had talked about doing a swap. So I'm like, oh, let me just make one for Tina too. So made this for her. Just going to gift it in this little bag. Perfect size. We are going to get into the embellishment book. So I used that same fabric. Let me pull back a little bit. Um, so there's that. I used some of that same mustard trim just around here. I was trying to cover up like an imperfection that, um, on the inside cover, it didn't really work out, but it's still cute. I just tied this bow and we have this little dangle. And again, um, everything else besides that pokey tool was done in gold. So charms and beads. And look at this one. It has a, a leaf topper. It looks like a little pumpkin. Love it. So in here... So here's the paper and again this is what I was trying to cover but I didn't line it up right. I don't know what I'm going to do about this. I might try to find a thin little trim just to hide that but I'm not sure. We'll, we'll figure it out. But here are some of my embellishments. Here we have the little pumpkin trucks. And again these are already um, attached in here so I'm not going to take them out. In each of these little pockets there are little embellishments. I am still waiting on one to come in the mail. It's a little wood veneer piece that says like happy fall y'all or something like that. Um, but that will go in here and then the rest are just like little like fall themed stickers. So we have those. Here is my next page. These are sunflower mason jar embellishments. And again for better looks at this you can check out my Instagram or the video that I post before this. It'll hopefully be a little bit better quality for you to be able to see. Just a couple different types of bows that I did. Again, there's a little goodie in here. I added eyelets just so I could um, tie it shut. Here we have some little coffee embellishments. Oops. Alrighty, here we have some pumpkin shakers. This one got turned. So cute. I wish that I... <laughs> had size these so I could have them going like the right way the right orientation but I wanted to fit all four on here so I made it work here we have some paper flowers and then here I just did some tassels and I just added some charms so this one has the pumpkin the squirrel the mushroom and then the little acorn and then the last one, these are little gnomes. So um, these are actually dimensional on their nose and their hands. This one has a leaf, pumpkins, and some acorns. I made this super sturdy, so I hope that um, she will be able to find a way to reuse this. I mean, if she wants to. It's definitely going to be sturdy enough if she wants to make it like a little fall album or something once she gets all the embellishments out. So there is that. Love how that turned out. And again, I've been on a sewing kick lately. I've... And then last is my pocket letter. So 
here it is. So I decided to go for a pocket letter instead of a memory decks card. Um, we'll just start over here. This is ribbon from um, Dollar Tree. And then I just did a bunch of beads and charms and some resin pieces. These are pieces that I actually made and I turned into charms. I just used a little hand drill and drilled a little hole in the top. Took all of the colors from basically this little piece that says autumn and tried to incorporate them in my little dangle over here. Just some eyelets um, up here. Pretty simple, just a sticker and then that sequins mix. Here we have just some paper. I have a couple little like faux leaves and then this, this little chipboard sticker piece. Right here we have a little pumpkin spice and everything nice. This was a, a die cut sticker from Hobby Lobby and then I just have a little dangle here. I use so many of these little pumpkin charms. Absolutely love them. I need to order some more. Um, here again just a cute little piece says give thanks a little sticker a little cluster right here and here is just another one of those animals from that little sticker pad another one of the stickers I popped up wrapped some thread around this amazing little scarecrow came from Sally in my 100 subscriber giveaway and um, it absolutely is perfect for this project I absolutely love it I still have three more but I We'll probably hoard those for a couple of years. Um, here is just another cardboard chipboard sticker piece. This one I actually still have on the acetate, so she'll be able to pull that out and actually use that if she would like. Another one of those little animals, a little frame around it with some falling leaves. These are all popped up. So there's that. And then on the other side are all my goodies. So here we just have this little pocket came from Courtney. She is Aurora's Treasures here on YouTube and Instagram. Perfect idea to hold little embellishments inside. I just did some stitch die cut leaves. Here are some like little candy wrappers and I did those like fall pumpkin candies. Here we have some more of my resin pieces, some bows, some cups, a leaf. Here I did some more of those charms that I used over here. And some jemmy pieces. Right here we just have some wood pieces. I'm pretty sure these came from Hobby Lobby last year. Here is just a good amount of that sequin mix. And then here is just some of the confetti pieces that I also will probably just sprinkle in the packaging to make it pretty because I have so many of them and need to use them up. So that is what I'm gonna send to Miss Tina. I will have her channel linked below. Even besides this giveaway, she is an amazing crafter and I know you guys will love her. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you have any questions about anything, go ahead and ask them below. Um, if there's anything you would like to see me recreate, ideas for future videos, please let me know. And I think that's it. <laughs> for better pictures or anything like that, go ahead and check out my Instagram. It's at Laura V Crafty. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.